Hello students, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve exercise problems in control systems chapter 1. Exercise 1.17. We are going to solve the first problem E1.1. For the mechanical system shown in figure, derive the transfer function. Also draw the force voltage and force current analogous circuits. So this is your given diagram. So here the, our first step is the transfer function is nothing but Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. So here this diagram is very simple. Here we are having only one mass and here f of t is your input and the respective displacement x is your output. Right. So here in this case their output is x. So Laplace transform of x and your input is f of t. So Laplace transform of f of t. So when you take Laplace transform x becomes x of s and f becomes f of s. And the first step is you are going to draw the free body diagram of mass m. So from the problem just count the number of elements which are connected to mass m. So here we are having 1, 2, 3. Okay totally 3 forces are there. So apart from 3 forces, one opposing force will be produced by our mass M. So totally 4 forces will be acting on your mass M. So here F of T is the applied force. Then apart from that, the other 3 forces are one force produced by mass M and one force produced by this B and other force produced by this K. So first I am writing Fm, Fb and F. K. Just substituting the respective values, the opposing force produced by mass m is directly proportional to the acceleration. So here the displacement of mass m is nothing but x. So fm is directly proportional to d square x by dt square. So when you include proportionality constant, this becomes m into d square x by dt square. And the next one is fb. So Fb is directly proportional to dx by dt which is equal to B into dx by dt. Right. And the last one is Fk and Fk is directly proportional to x so which is equal to k into x. So by Newton's second law here applied force will be equal to Applied force is equal to opposing forces here. So here the applied force is nothing but F of T. And opposing forces are nothing but Fm plus Fb plus Fk. Just substitute the respective values here. So when you substitute this becomes M into d square x by dt square plus B into dx by dt. And the last one will be k into x. Just when you take Laplace transformation, so when you apply Laplace transformation, this expression becomes f of t becomes f of s. So f of s is equal to m into s square into x of s plus b into s into x of s and finally plus k into x of s. So here when you take x of s term commonly outside, the remaining terms will be m s square plus b s plus k which is equal to our f of s right here regarding transfer function what we need is x of s by f of s so here i am having x of s and here we are having f of s just when you substitute we will be having just rearranging here we will be getting x of s divided by f of s is nothing but 1 divided by ms square plus bs plus k. Right. This is your required transfer function. I have written this expression from this expression. Right. x of s divided by f of s. This f of s will become denominator when we move here. And when we move this expression to this side, this part will come as a reciprocal here. So, our expression is x of s by f of s equal to 1 by ms square plus bs plus k. Right, this is our required transfer function. Then the next step is 
they are asking to find the draw the force voltage and force current so the first step is we are going to draw the force voltage analogy so regarding this force voltage analogy the thing which we need to know is that is mos will be represented as inductor and k will be represented as capacitor and b will be represented as resistor right and as it is this is a force voltage so f will be represented as v just while writing expression we will write it as 1 by c so here let k be represented as 1 by c so the first step is we are having a force f of s right so the f of s should be represented as a source voltage here that is this force should be represented as voltage so here i am drawing an voltage source right this is nothing but your e of t with plus and minus and the next one is from this expression that is each and everything i am writing by considering this expression right so i have drawn this for for this force i have drawn a voltage source and here for this mos this mos should be represented as an inductor here so just here i am drawing an inductor this inductor is represented as l and the next step is here i am having a b right this b should be represented as a resistor so here i am drawing a resistor let it be r and the last one is here i am having a k term and this k should be represented as a capacitor so here just i am drawing a capacitor that's it our circuit gets over here and let i of t be the current which flows through this circuit right so this expression consists of four terms 1 2 3 4 right so again in this diagram we are having four elements 1 2 3 and 4 and now with this force voltage analogy i am going to draw the force current analogy here so as i already said here this force is represented as current here and the elements which are connected in series should be drawn in parallel and here uh, this m and k will get interchanged that is mos m here we are representing as inductor right here we have to represent it as a capacitor and this k should be represented as an inductor and b represented as resistor this remains same so now i'm going to draw the diagram instead of voltage here i have to draw a current source this is your i of t right and here to this voltage source this inductor is in series so here the inductor should be replaced by a capacitor so here i am drawing a capacitor c in parallel and the next one is i am having resistor then this resistor is in series with inductor so this resistor should again come parallel with this capacitor here so just draw a resistor in parallel to this c and the next one i am having c this c should be represented as an inductor here and this c again it should come parallel with this r so here i am drawing an inductor l right so this is our respect to force current analogy and what to say so there is this is a single loop right so here um what is it we will be having a single node here okay you can uh, have node either here or here no issues right a node is nothing but it is a point where two or more elements should get connected okay that's all the problem is over hope you all understand well thank you